Hey guys, it's Hetty and welcome back to part 19 of the Fan Art Feb series and for today's video I'm drawing Evie from Illustration with Evie. Well, I'm actually drawing her avatar because I don't know what Evie actually looks like, but anyway, I hope she likes it. I thought I would do this piece in watercolours because she does some really cool watercolour pieces. She does a mix of both like watercolour markers and um, digital pieces as well. Her digital ones are so cool. But, yeah, um, I'll leave a link to her channel up in the little information card and in the description box below. And I guess I'll answer some more of your questions for today. And my husband's posted more questions for me to answer. Um, so the first one would be, if you could use one medium from now on, what would it be? Uh, acrylics. I think I've said something along these lines before. I'd rather use acrylics over any other medium if I could only choose one because you can use them in different ways. Like you can use them as watercolours because you can just dilute them down. Yes, the colour doesn't last as well in the original painting, but to do prints, then yeah, why not? So I think acrylics because there is a lot more you can do with it. Um, where do you see yourself art wise in five years? Self sustaining. <laughs> That would be nice so he doesn't have to support me all the time which i love him for that but i do feel bad that he's have, well he doesn't have to do it but y you know what i mean I, I want to help to contribute a bit more um what's your favorite thing or person to draw women i like drawing females which is just a personal preference because i find it easier um so yeah i think that's about it i don't really have any other favorite things to draw uh, so, out of all the inspirations in your life, what would you say has been the biggest? And what were the top few runners-up? Um, my mum was the first one, because she's originally the one that got me into art. And then, I suppose it would have been anime. Because that was where what I wanted to do to start with. I wanted to be an uh, animator or a comic book, uh, comic book artist. Mainly comic books. So, I suppose that was the a runner up and I think my art teacher from high school she kind of inspired me it was one day in art she did a painting using acrylics she did a painting of a Volkswagen Beetle with a mini like toy Volkswagen Beetle and oh my god it was amazing I loved it it was just just watching it do it because we just got to see little bits of it when we was in doing extra work for our GCSEs, and it was just so cool watching how she did it. And I'd love to do something like that one day. I'm not a big fan of painting cars or of cars in general, but something along those lines would be amazing to do. So, yeah, that's the end of his questions, and I think I have one left from Poodle Paws Forty Four. So I'll answer their last question, and it is, I noticed you use several brands of markers, do you have a favourite? Um, I don't really know. I suppose I like the, my newest one, no, that's the letter, no, the ones I got before those ones, which are the, um, Touch 5 Twin Markers, which you can just get a really cheap set off of Amazon for like 30 or 40 pounds and I think Claire from Blacks and the Colouring has just got a set of these so good luck to her because some some of them work really well because the nibs are quite soft and then some of them the nibs are really hard but when you're paying that price per marker it's you don't expect amazing quality but as long as you've got a colour chart they work fine that is the main thing I'd say for these is you need a colour chart because they do not match the lids at all one I don't think does um but yes so I suppose those ones are which I can leave a link to those in the description box as well but we're coming up to the end of the video now so thank you for watching I hope Evie likes this piece and yeah please like and subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow for the next video bye